Welcome to Swan Racing TV. Um, you know, last weekend at Texas, we had uh, Parker Klingerman in the car. Uh, it was his first cup start. And we're really excited. Uh, he done a really, really good job on Friday. We had a small issue at the start of practice, so it kind of cut us in half there. But uh, we got out. I think we, I can't even remember what we qualified, but uh, qualified really well. I thought we was going to be in the top 15, and our uh, car bottomed out a little bit, so we lost that. Uh, going in there to practice on Saturday, uh, the car was was pretty tight on the first session or loose the first session. And then the second one, we got we just overcompensated and got it too tight. So felt like we had to get somewhere in the middle for the race to start, and uh, we did. And when the race started, fired off pretty good. You know, uh, he done a really good job. There's a lot of green flag there at Texas. I mean, the 48. I don't think there was anybody there that could even run with him. But uh, you know, we did really well. We stayed in between 18th and 23rd all night. Uh, the pit crew, they were awesome. Every time we had a pit stop, we had picked up like five to six spots. And, uh, you know, it was just an all-around good, one good race where we put everything together. And, uh, you know, I think Parker was pretty excited when he left. Uh, you know, he, he had to go straight from there to SEMA. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to be looking forward to him. I think he's going to drive Homestead for us. Now we're going to give him one more chance. And uh, we got Cole in this week at Phoenix, so that's exciting to see what Cole can, can do out there. I know he's got some cup experience out there at that track. So, you know, but overall this weekend there's a lot of, good vibes in the shop everybody's pumped up and uh, you know we got this thing rolling in the right direction all right we're doing the windshield tear offs most people at home don't get to see this installation process we do it in the shop prior to going to the track which allows the driver to see so during pit stops when they come in the driver wants a clean windshield they take off what we put on that's why they're called tear offs we install them they tear them off Basically, each team is different depending on the driver, depending on the budget of the team as to how many tear-offs they get and what racetrack you're going to. So, like, if you go to Super Speedway's Daytona Talladega, you might get a Basin 8 to a Basin 10. There again, depends on the budget of the team. Here at Swan, we always do a Basin 5. So, um, five layers. You've got a base coat that covers the um, entire windshield parameter that protects the whole glass and now with the windshields being laminated I think the windshields are probably somewhere around $1,100 so they want to protect every bit of that glass so they can continue to reuse it so um, and then your layers go in on the inside of the base coat and like this particular one I'm doing here is actually two layers into one that was three so then you stagger them and then I'll separate them after I finish cutting the piece we lay them on there we score it basically everything we do is custom made so if a team's already got tear-offs on, then we come in and we'll go in and make a map of it, take it back off, recut it, and after we recut it, then we install it back on the windshield. 